Let's bring in lawmakers, our company, Michigan Congressman Lisa McLean and Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, Congresswoman McLean, uh, I'm going to start with you. President and Vice President Harris have both laughed at questions about Afghanistan. Listen to this. And forgive me, I'm just the messenger. No longer consider you to be competent, focused, or effective in the job. I haven't well, seen that poll. It's out there um, from CBS this morning. Um, <laughs> what would you say? To What's your response to our forms of Americans? Well, hold on, hold on. Slow down, everybody. <laughs> Concerning is it to you that this administration is laughing um, at the gravity of this situation while we have Americans literally stranded on the ground in Afghanistan right now who don't feel safe getting to the airport? It is disgusting, but we shouldn't be surprised. This is the same administration that laughs at the border crisis. It is a time for leadership, and this is no laughing matter. When we have American citizens stranded, in Afghanistan, Afghanistan as, as along with our troops, and they're laughing? Listen, we've been asking for months. I said on Hask, we've been asking for months. What is the plan? Please tell me. Give me a shred of what the plan is. Zero, zero, absolutely zero information on what the plan is to get our Americans out there. So that leads me to one of two things. Either we had no plan, or this administration is grossly incompetent, or perhaps both. But I can share with you this, the Americans that have loved ones over in Afghanistan, I can assure you, President Biden and Vice President Harris, they are not laughing and neither should you. Mm, absolutely, and, and they have been able, unable to answer how many Americans are still left in Afghanistan as well. Congressman Carter, uh, the U.S. military has just told Biden that he has a deadline of tomorrow to decide if he's going to extend the August 31st deadline to withdraw from Afghanistan. So this is an order for them to be able to remove 5,800 troops on the ground, equipment and weapons. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the Pentagon is saying that they're working with the Taliban to potentially extend this August 31st deadline. That's eight days away. However, here is what a Taliban spokesperson said about that extension. Listen. No. Why not? This, this is something you can say it's a red line. President Biden announced this agreement that until 31st of August they would withdraw all their military forces. So if they extend it, that means they are extending occupation while there is no need for One, how concerned are you about the threat of the Taliban here, and do we have an option? You know, it, it, it's unbelievable. The Taliban can't be trusted. Wow, what a newsflash. And, and now we find this. You know, when I became a member of the Georgia State Legislature, the first lesson that we learned was when you're in a hole, quit digging. The the Biden administration continues to dig, and they dig deeper and deeper. First of all, we have the unmitigated disaster that was the exit from, from Afghanistan. That was, there was no planning, there was no strategy, there was nothing, no forethought whatsoever put into that. And Joe Biden said it was highly unlikely that the Taliban could, could um, take over. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened. Now we find out that the, the hole is getting even deeper. We don't know how many people are still over there, how many Americans are still over there. We don't know how many interpreters are still over there, how many still need to be brought back to America. This is a totally inept and incompetent administration that's running this. It is disgraceful. Yeah, and we're hearing the administration counterdict even themselves. They're having these press conferences simultaneously that are overlapping in many ways. But Congress, Congresswoman McLean, uh, we even had Jen Psaki, White House press secretary, saying today, as we showed earlier, that Americans aren't stranded. Um, is that in line with what your office is hearing right now? No, we've had constituents across the United States call and beg us to help, help, help them get their people, one, to the airport and help them get evacuated from the airport. How in God's name do we not have a clue how many people there are in Afghanistan to get evacuated? We are, these, these Americans are not a rounding error. 
You can't be vague about that. It's your job to know what's going on. And I would put this out there to Jen Psaki. If we're not if we're not being stranded in Afghanistan, then perhaps Jen should, um, should get on a plane, go to Afghanistan, and she can be the last one out. Since you know there's really no trouble. Hmm. You know, as Sean mentioned earlier, it's almost like these people aren't watching what's happening before their eyes and the stories that are being reported, even from the press that's on the ground there. But Congressman Carter, is that what are you hearing from your office? Are you hearing stories of people that aren't able to get to the airport? Absolutely. Just earlier today in the district, I met with someone who worked in Afghanistan for over five years who brought us a list of people that she's been in touch with. Please help me get these people out. They work with me. They were interpreters. They helped me and we need to get them out. I've been in touch with them and they say that they can't get out. We've been working with the State Department to try to get these people out. This administration's trying to say that there's there's no one over there that they're not going to be able to get out is simply ridiculous misleading and incompetent Crossman clan I'll finish with this because tomorrow President Biden is meeting with the G7 group our allies but they have been very critical of this administration and saying that the Biden did not work with them on the withdrawal process how willing are they going to be to give us help now at a critical time well, if I'm sitting in their shoes, they were depending on us, and we completely let them down. You know, that's one of the things that you learn. You, 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 have, your, you have your buddies back, and right now, we don't have anyone's back. And I would argue, we don't even have our own back, because we're too worried about covering up and placating to the media. Listen, you can't fix a problem that you think doesn't exist. And this has been a common theme with the Biden administration. They don't think there's a problem at the border. They don't think there's a problem in, Ad in Afghanistan. And we're never going to be able to fix the problem and get our people home unless we first can admit we have a problem. And then we can all work together to fix it. But if you think our allies aren't irritated with us, you're gravely mistaken because they are, and they rightly should be irritated with us. We let them down. There's, yeah, absolutely. There's a lot to break down. We'll have to see what comes from this meeting tomorrow. Uh, we're out of time this evening, but Congresswoman McLean, Congressman Carter, thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you. Thank you.